There are two completely fundamental concepts that you have to understand in calculus. One of them is the concept of a derivative. And the other is the concept of an integral. Now derivatives and integrals are as fundamental to calculus as addition and multiplication are to algebra. And you're going to spend much of your first semester of calculus learning about derivatives and learning how to apply derivatives to solve problems. Let's forget about integrals for now and let's just talk about derivatives. What is a derivative? Well, a derivative is a change in a quantity. So literally anytime anything changes, you can think of that thing as having a derivative. Now let me give you a couple of examples. Well, things are changing all around you all the time, so there are a countless number of examples we could use here. But my first example, I just want to mention populations. Consider you have yourself a population of bacteria in a petri dish, and you give this population of bacteria some certain conditions. Now what you want to know is how the population of those little bacteria in that dish change with time. Now use that word change, so that means that we can model this thing using a derivative. You can set up a pretty simple equation and you can actually predict how the population of that bacteria in that dish will change. For a second quick example you can talk about your business. Let's say you have a t-shirt business and you would like to be able to predict how much your profit is going to change versus how many t-shirts you manufacture. Notice I used that word again. I said change. You want to know how your profits are going to change. That implies we can do this using derivatives. You can set up a model, and depending on how good your model is, you can predict how your profits change versus how many t-shirts you made. Now, not only can derivatives and calculus give you this model, but derivatives and calculus can also analyze it for you. So you'll notice from this little simple graph that I drew, your profits change for the better until you get to this point right here. Now as soon as you make any more t-shirts than this number of t-shirts right here, your profits actually change for the worse. That actually means that your derivative goes from positive to negative. And calculus can tell you where that point happens. Now this problem I described is actually called an optimization problem. It was our goal to find our maximum profit. And you spend a lot of time in Calculus 1, first semester, doing just that. The last application I want to discuss is actually the original application of derivatives. And that is studying moving objects. Now there's a long history of scientists and mathematicians that led to the development of derivatives. But typically the discovery of derivatives in calculus is attributed to Isaac Newton and Gottfried Leibniz. Now these two men were interested in studying moving objects. If you considered, say, a car driving down the street, when the car moves, this is a change in position. Now notice I used that word again. I used the word change. Movement, or speed, is a change in position. So what we can say is that the derivative of position is speed. And understanding the mathematical relationship between position and speed and even things like acceleration and force, that is extremely important when trying to model the movement of objects. So understanding the derivative is fundamental to understanding the motion of anything, from cannonballs to ballistic missiles, from bicycles to space shuttles, and from dropping this pen right here in front of me to the movement of the moon. Calculus is the most powerful mathematical tool we've ever had for understanding the world around us. And understanding calculus is completely dependent on understanding the derivative.